What do you do when you can't buy a house in this crazy real estate market? Well, one metro couple sold their Lee Summit home and rented a Crossroads apartment while house hunting. But then after about a year of trying and failing to buy a house in this market, they came up with another idea. They put almost everything they own in storage and went on the road, not in an RV. Every month they move and live in a new rental place on Airbnb. Empty nesters Derek and Roxanna White were renting in the crossroads to enjoy downtown, but then COVID hit and real estate demand soared. They've been on at least 10 houses in the last year and lost each time. Oh, we had kind of decided to do this um, in, in any way, but definitely um, it made the decision really easy when we couldn't find a house. <laughs> So last fall, you decided to, to take the two cats and pack up everything in storage and take the rest on the road, right? Two cats with yep. you. Yep. Um, we didn't give them a vote, but, but they're doing all right with it. Follow the sun. They spent November to May visiting seven cities in four states. In each city, they rent an Airbnb. It comes out to a lot of times where we find a place. I mean, we kind of yeah. have a general idea of different places to um, to try out, but then, you know, where the, the right Airbnb comes up is kind of the deciding factor. Derek works from home as a software developer, so all they really need is an internet connection. They've got a system down now. We have a system, you know, kind of for the clothes um, because we've had to pack for all seasons. Um, so it's just been a lot of uh, trial and error, I guess. They look for cities with warmer climates, great scenery, and places to hike and explore. Finding out what the locals love to do and where they like to hang out and, and going and getting to know them and just really immersing ourselves in the community that we're living in. And it's opened up a whole new way of life. Every time we've we've traveled somewhere, we've just makes us realize how many great places there are that we haven't seen. They try to stay flexible, but also research each place before they rent. Roxana reads every review before they commit. Try not to have, you know, set expectations because, you know, sometimes when you get there, it's different than what you thought it would be. They stick to rentals in their budget. Airbnbs are for monthly have been pretty similar to what we were paying in rent. Um, of course, we're having to pay a um, monthly storage for all our stuff, <laughs> but we're but we're not paying utilities, so it kind of evens out for the most part. And they've learned to live with less stuff. I think the hardest for me was limiting the amount of shoes I was bringing. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's been kind of nice to realize that, you know, home is really where you are and who you're there with. Are you excited to see the animals like I am? Of course, Ben. <laughs> if you want to try it, they say you can find ways to make it work for you. Just being flexible and kind of going with the flow and remembering what's really important um, would be my biggest advice. And I guess... Just remember that it's temporary. If you, there's gonna be something about every place you don't like, but... Yes. And if you get somewhere that there's a bunch of things you don't like, you know, you've, you're only committed for a couple weeks, a month. They consider it an adventure and look forward to many more. We just are getting out there and and having fun and living life and being grateful for the opportunity to do this and to do it together. Back to White say this is working so well for them that eventually when they do buy a house in Kansas City to be near family, they plan to rent it out in the wintertime and go on the road someplace warm. If you want to follow their adventures online or ask them questions about how they do this, we've posted links to their social media in this story on Fox4KC.com.